Hello, my dear students. Today we are dealing with the topic nanochemistry. What is nanochemistry? Nanochemistry is the branch of nanoscience deals with the chemical applications of nanomaterials in nanotechnology. Nanochemistry involves the study of the synthesis and characterization of materials of nanoscale size. Nanochemistry is a relatively new branch of chemistry concerned with the unique properties associated with the assemblies of atoms or molecules of nanoscale that is approximately 1 to 100 nanometer scale. Nanochemistry is an integral part of nanotechnology. Nanotechnology is the multidisciplinary technology at the nanoscale. Then what do you mean by a nanoscale? The prefix nano means dwarf. Nano is a Greek word. It means one billionth. That is a nanometer is a billionth of a meter. One nanometer is equal to 10 raised to minus 9 meter. Here the picture shows the relative dimensions of various objects. The size of the watermelon is 10 centimeter. The size of the full stop is 1 millimeter. The size of a coin is 1 centimeter. The size of a hair is 100 micrometer. The size of a RBC is 5 micrometer. The size of a virus is 1 micrometer. The size of a gold nanoparticle is 10 nanometer. The size of a carbon nanotube is 5 nanometer. The size of a benzene molecule is 0.5 nanometer. The size of a water molecule is 0.1 nanometer. From this figure, it is clear that on moving from water melon to water molecule, the size of the particle is reduced. A nanoparticle is a small particle that ranges between 1 to 100 nanometer in size. Here also the picture shows the relative dimensions of various objects. The size of a water molecule is 0.1 nanometer. The size of an antibody is 2.9 nanometer. The size of a bacteria is 100 nanometer. The size of the hair width is 80,000 nanometer. The size of a tennis ball is 70 million nanometer. Nanochemistry is a relatively new term, but the nanoparticles are used in ancient times. There are a number of relatively famous examples of ancient artifacts which were created using nanocomposites. The Lycurgus cup, for example, is a stunning decorative Roman treasure from about AD 400. It is made of a glass that changes color when light is shone through it. In this cup, the glass contains gold silver alloyed nanoparticles which are distributed in such a way to make the glass look green in reflected light but when light passes through the cup it reveals a brilliant red. Another example for the nanoparticle used in ancient times is that a corrosion resistant azure pigment known as Maya Blue, first produced in AD 800, was discovered in the pre Columbian Mayan city of Chichen Itza. It is complex material containing clay with nanopores into which indigo dye was combined chemically to create an environmentally stable pigment. Another example is that Damascus steel swords from the Middle East were made between AD 300 and AD 1700 and are known for their impressive strength, shutter resistance and exceptionally sharp cutting edges. The steel blades contain oriented nanoscale wire and tube like structures which almost subtly enhanced the material's properties. Nanostructures are structures that range between 1 nanometer and 100 nanometer in at least one dimension. Nanosurfaces, cylindrical 
classical nanotubes and nanospheres are common nanostructures. Unusual physical, chemical and biological properties can emerge in materials at the nanoscale. These properties may differ in important ways from the properties of bulk materials and single atoms or molecules. Then what do you mean by nanotechnology? The design, characterization, production and application of structures, devices and systems by controlled manipulation of size and shape at the nanometer scale that produces structures, devices and systems with at least one novel or superior characteristics or property. That is, nanotechnology can be seen as an extension of the existing science into the nanoscale. It is an interdisciplinary area where researchers overlap over a variety of academic disciplines like chemistry, physics, bioscience, material science, computational engineering, colloidal science, and even mechanical and electrical engineering. The history of nanotechnology traces the development of the concepts and experimental work falling under the broad category of nanotechnology. Nanotechnology is a relatively recent development in scientific research. The development of its central concept happened over a longer period of time. The American physicist Richard Feynman lectured, there is plenty of room at the bottom at an American Physical Society meeting at Caltech on December 29, 1959 which is often held to have provided inspiration for the field of nanotechnology. He envisioned a process by which man would be able to fabricate materials and devices through control of matter on the atomic and molecular scale, that is at the nanometer level. The Japanese scientist called Norio Taniguchi of Tokyo University of Science was first to use the term nanotechnology in a 1974 conference to describe semiconductor processes such as a thin film deposition and iron beam myelin exhibiting characteristic control on the order of a nanometer. His definition was nanotechnology mainly consists of the process of separation, consolidation and deformation of materials by one atom or one molecule. Another important discovery is that the scanning tunneling microscope, an instrument for imaging surfaces at the atomic level was developed in 1981 by Gerd Binning and Heinrich Rohrer at IBM Zurich Research Laboratory for which they were awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1986. The Binning, Calvin Cote and Christoph Gerber invented the first atomic force microscope in 1986. The first commercially available atomic force microscope was introduced in 1989. The atomic force microscope is the one of the advanced measurement tools of the nano era, remarkably helpful in the deliberative fabrication and manipulation of structures at the atomic or molecular level. Another important invention is that IBM researcher Don Egler was the first to manipulate atoms using a scanning tunneling microscope in 1989. He used 35 xenon atoms to spell out the IBM logo. These and other developments in nanotechnology make it as a field of great industrial importance. Today we have discussed about nanochemistry, nanoparticle, nanoscale, nanostructures, nanotechnology. In the next part, we will discuss about the classification of nanoparticles. Thank you.